All right, today, as you can see, we got a uh, broken phaser for a Nexus Gen 2. I'm going to try and just do a complete switch out as quick as I can. Maybe I'll explain something on the way or explain things on the way as I do them. Darn, that thing's broken. Okay. I'm just disconnect all the cables. Put out my LCD screen. Disconnecting the gun loom cable. Now I can get my LCD out. Disconnect my hand sensor loom. It's stuck in there, so I'm going to use the uh, short stubby screwdriver. Stick in the end, give it some twists. Pop it out. Got some needle nose to pull the hot glue out of these. areas rather than tugging on my wires that's bad it's been uh i got one disconnected cable that's supposed to be up in there get me some better light here so yeah that's supposed to be connected so that's gonna have to be sent back for repairs <sighs> And they've already got some parts installed into my new gun shell. I got some old nylon lock nuts that I'd like to still get out. Put the uh, bolt through, nuts on this side. Sometimes I hot glue them in so they don't fall out uh, whenever I'm working on it. And I'm gonna, I just barely threaded it in back into the nylon lock nut and I push down on the base and it takes the nut out for me. Might as well clean out the rest of the original housing. Uh, as I said before, I use a uh, hot glue around my speakers. I'm trying to glue any of the speaker itself. I'm just going to pull that out. sticking the pick under the speaker making sure not to stab into the speaker and just lift up get the speaker out go ahead and take this trigger spring out keep it might need it later another vest uh, so there's a few more lock nylon lock nuts I'm gonna get out I'm going to pause this. I'm going to extract a lot of these down on the concrete. I can push a lot harder. Give me one minute. All right, so I uh, got the last one out so I can reuse them. Throw that shell to the side. Okay, uh, I'm sure as I've shown before that they uh, have the speakers secured in with this. It's like a three-prong tab. I, I don't like those very much. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, hot glue it in to place some before I go ahead and remove those tabs. So I'm going along the edges of the speaker here. Making sure not to get any up inside on the fabric of the speaker, the membrane. Okay, now that those are in, or that's in, I'm going to go ahead and just unscrew these tabs. Let me get some, uh, get some good old fashioned air in a can, cool it down so it'll stay in there. Now back these out. Right here, where that screw came out of, I'm going to fill inside the screw hole, wrap around the speaker a little bit, so 
Same with this one, fill inside the screw hole a little, wrap around the speaker. Feels secure. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, find a trigger. Should have one. Should have had one. Alright, so I got the trigger. Go ahead and hook it into the spring. Like that. Set it in the trigger holder. Now I'm going to put some hot glue right between where that trigger meets right there where it meets the housing with the fa the front face flat spot of the trigger redoing this video because I saw some other ones maybe the lighting wasn't as well take your flat screwdriver scrape off the excess now that trigger should stay there the whole time until Everything's installed, and the first trigger pull will break it free. All right, time to put in the main PCB here. Let's get the. I don't like the way they ran these wires. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out myself. I like them to come right, right around that side wall. Just like that. Some hot glue here. A screwdriver and just press it flat. Hit it with some air in a can. Should speed things up. There we go. A little high on this side. I don't want the housing to stick together, so trim it off. I got to think on this housing on the on the face sides and the back side where there is nothing that if I hot glue it I just don't want to mess anything up like dropping it. So I'm going to put some hot glue in this area when I put it in. Same thing right around this area. And whenever I hot glue it, uh, notice how it tilts back. You don't want it to tilt back. You're going to want to free float it off of. <coughs> Now it's hard to see them. There's supports right here in the gun shell. The board doesn't rest flat against those supports. There's an even, the equal gap between this support and the the groove where the board goes. It's about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe a little bit heavier than that. But you'd want to float that same equal amount off of those supports for it to work right. So, Put my, double check where my board goes. So I know where to put the hot glue. Okay, so I'm going to put a drop here. Put the other one here. Alright, stick the board exactly in that, that slot. Don't kick it uphill. Make sure you're centered up. Looks like I'm off the back of those supports. It's really hard to see it, but from here I got an equal gap inside off the back of them. Let's go ahead and put some air in a can just to cool those a little quicker. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and drop in the laser, the IR laser. Just going to put a stripe of hot glue across here. Flat spot goes away from or to the where the grip the front grip is the hand sensor grip I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue these wires right here just to hold them in the housing I come from one side come across the gap to the opposite side and then I scrape the glue off is what I try and do this one's a little thicker, not going to cooperate as well with me. All right. All right, we're going to put the new hand sensor.
fluids are in. I'm going to press it right in the front here. Route the wires down, back through a groove here. Go ahead and hot glue it. doing the hot glue I usually put a little dab left on the new stick and glue it to the end of the old stick spot here and hot glue it in. Alright, we're almost there. Go ahead and connect this terminal to the PCB, the gun PCB. Connect it the right way. these up. What it is, there's a little catch here and there's a the, the latch here. That's the same thing with all those other ones. That's how I knew it was a, I was putting it in the wrong way. Go ahead and feed these wires in to a position they can stay. Until I hot glue them. There we go. All right. All right. I'm going to bring this trigger wire around. Go ahead and I'm going to bend these wires just a little bit. Kind of get them directed the way I want them to go. Press it into the bottom. I want them to kind of be out of the way of my LCD screen terminal connection here. I'm going to go ahead and bring my phaser cable into the housing. Get some of this hot glue cobwebs out of the way. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue in the base here so it'll give, them, give something for whenever I put my cable in and I hot glue the top of it. I want it to kind of make a its own latch or lock. I'll freeze it out. Okay, I'm going to press the Gun cable in, route it around the trigger. Bring it right under the board here. Now that that's into place, I'm going to go ahead and put hot glue on it. So it locks the, the top part of hot glue into the bottom part. Freeze it out to hold it. Good. Alright. Put this, connect this right in the center middle. Sorry, I'm going a little fast. See my time limit's about to expire. Go ahead and press this LCD screen in, set it into place, and that should be it. Just snap the housings together. Just remember when you snap the, the upper housing together, you got to connect it to this top pin, not the one under it, the top terminal. Thank you for paying attention.